Lads, the Chow Ching Chows, Lancer and Chow here. Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Legends Arceus Let's Play. In the last episode, we went back to tell the Commander what had happened uh, with, uh, with Ursa Luna. And we learned that Azor had been trying to, um, trying to, I should admit... Um, help out uh, with her Lily Gallant, who has also become enraged. So we are now needing to save the Lady of the Ridge, Lily Gallant. So Lily Gallant in this game is a grass and fighting type. So I have um, structured the team to help out with that, uh, with help out with this as much as I can do by looking at my pastures and seeing what I've recently caught to uh, help out with this. So I have a quick, I have my quick lava, which is my starter. I now have, a, I found a stunky, so that might help, you know, being poison type, that might help. Then we have a fly, then we have a Staravia that we normally have in our team, which is, you know, useful for flying type. And then I also have my Luxio, which has a uh, Fire Fang and Ice Fang ready to go. Then also we have a Gold Bat, which I've recently found, which is quite nice. And I also got a hold of an Alpha Staravia uh, a few episodes back. So that might be useful too, according to Great Ball. So that might be useful uh, to help out with this situation. I don't know per se if any of these are going to be useful. I might be quite significantly underleveled still to deal with this. I really might be, but we will honestly see. I need to get to the Brava Arena, which is here. So I'm going to set that as a destination. And I'm going to fly to the Diamond Settlement so that we can go there because it's nearer. And of course, I can also get our, uh, uh, get on my poke in my ride Pokemon. Does that all help too? I haven't been over this side of the uh, region yet, so I don't know what is exactly here. Also, the Rhyhorn here, so. Yeah, I'm going to have to be careful about that because I feel like they're going to be feisty Pokemon that are going to run after me if I'm not careful. So, definitely not going to be wanting to be ran after by, uh, uh, by a Rhyhorn. Definitely don't want that. I mean, I could catch a Rhyhorn. That's also an idea. Oh, there's Parasect here. And it's not an alpha parasect like it is in the uh, like it is in the field banks. I mean, yeah, sure, it'll still come after me, so I'm gonna have to be careful about that. But it's still it's not as bad as if it was like the alpha one that's in the field, the obstinary field plants. Because that one's legit. That one's kind of legitimately scary to me. It could do some serious damage to me and my team if I'm not careful. So I have to be careful around it. Here's the Shrouded Ruins. Is that Lickitung? Yeah, that's a Lickitung. Cool. Oh, and there's an Alpha Licky Licky. Uh, yeah, me go over here now. <laughs> me trying to avoid Alpha Licky Licky. Okay. As I said, I haven't really been around this area of the... Oh, there's... Is that? Yeah, that's um, that's the whole form of rolls. That's cool. I said I, was, I haven't been around this section of the, uh, the the tundra, so I have no idea what is here. So that's pretty cool. There's all these Pokemon here, but actually, I wouldn't mind capturing because. Some of them I might be able to handle. The alphas, not so sure about. Especially if I accidentally ran into a, like an alpha Gardevoir. Oh, that would be scary. Okay, so how do I get to where I need to go? Zoom in. Okay. Ah, I see now. I see. I see how I get to where I need to go. Run from the thing. 
Uh, run from the Alpha Lickitung, which would be dangerous. Oh well, Alpha Licky Licky, which would be dangerous to deal with. So I'm going to not. I'm going to leave that alone. Can I get up here? Okay. Oh, there's an Alpha Rosalia. Like, I'm gonna have to try and attempt to catch some of these whilst, uh, uh, you know, off screen, where I can do, where I can run the risk of using those 30 Ultra Balls and 30 Heavy Balls, you know, gargantuan balls that I have, and stuff like that. If I can, if I can sort of catch them, or at least attempt it, it might work out for me. I don't know. I just question of whether it's worth running the risk. You ready for this, Quellava? You ready to go and speak to this man? I probably should switch into my Alpha Staravia, because that would probably be the better one to go with. I wonder if it has things... Actually, what do you have? Like, if you mastered, like, Air Slash and stuff... Yes, you have. You've mastered Air Slash. You have Ominous Wind, which is mastered, Roost, which is mastered, and Air Slash. Um, okay, I can work with those. And if I wanted to, I could always go back and uh, talk to uh, someone. Uh, go back and relearn a few moves. If I need to, because I could also go back and try and run relearn Aerial Ace, which might be useful, actually. So you've came. It... I take it that you're ready. I mean, can I... Fly back here if I say no? Oh, I can! I can fly back here! Okay, cool. Then let me do exactly what I've just said I was going to do, then. I would like to return to the village. Because if I reorganize, if I go and get reorganize my moves and see if I can relearn a few moves, that might be useful for this fight. Or see if I've got anything that might be useful for this fight. I mean, I might have a few ideas of what I want to plan to do for this, because I'm a little scared. I will tell you that for free, to, but today we are facing Lily Gellant. That is happening. Hello. Yes, I have... I would like to learn some new moves. Okay, so I have Staravia here. This is my Alpha Staravia. Oh! You can only learn Psychic and... Uh, you can only learn Swift and Rest. Oh, I was kind of hoping I can get Aerial Ace back. There's a, there's a few moves I'd like to get back on my Pokemon, but... Sadly, I can't... It doesn't seem like I can do exactly that. You can learn Aerial Ace, though. Which... Might be useful. Yeah, learn that. Okay, now you've learned that. Can I tell you to actually use it? How do I tell you to learn to use move? Uh, well, Because I'd like to, to tell you to use moves. Change moves. Ah, here we go. Changing moves. Right. I don't want rollout because that's not, it's not going to be useful in any way, shape, or form. But area ways will be useful. And as for you, change moves. I could have just stayed in the uh, stayed in the area then. Yeah. Take area ways back. Yeah. That'll do nicely. Is there anything else I want to give you back? Gust? No. I can give you Quick Attack back, and I can give you Double Edge back. No, thank you to any of those. Uh, you, Gold Bat, what can I give you back? 
I could give you hypnosis. Right, you already have that. Oh, I can give you cross. No, we, you already have all these. Why would I give you them back if you already have all these? Can you? Need, can any of you? Can go back learn anything that would be interesting? Go back. Okay, so go back and learn Aerial Ace. Might be useful. You can also learn Z Ooh, Zen Headbutt. That's too grand, though. I, I, I have the money. Ooh, Sludge Bomb. Actually, no. We're going up against the we're going up against the grass and poison type, uh, grass and fighting type. So sludge bomb is not. I mean, it might be useful, but I think Zen Headbutt would be the better one, especially since Goldback is a physical attacker. We could also learn Leech Life, but again, that's kind of resisted by fighting types. So no. I think Zen Headbutt and maybe Aerial Ace might be my ideas. So I'll learn those. Uh, Stunky, can you learn anything that might be useful here? Um, guess Sludge Bomb. And then Luxio. Oh wait, I do not have Fire Fang and Ice Fang. I need to give you those then. Okay, Fire Fang, Ice Fang. Anything else I need to give you? No, no, you're pretty much okay. But both, all those are fine. Okay. I think that's everything then. I mean, is there anything that this star... Uh, no, this star, the star Ravia can't learn anything new. Alright, so... Let's go into my summary and re uh, let's learn a few of these moves. So I want Fire Fang. Uh, I guess we can get rid of Thunder Shock for that. And Ice Fang will get rid of Quick Attack for that. Yeah. And then you. Gold Bat has Aerial Ace, uh, which might be. Actually, Bang up. Check summary. What are you? Um, actually, I could build you. I could build you both ways, and you'd be fine because that's actually not bad. Right. That's okay. I think that's yeah. So I can get rid of. I'll get rid of uh, bite. Yeah, I'll get rid of Bite for Zen Headbutt, and that I'll, I'll leave it at that because Hypnosis still could be useful to put it uh, to make a Pokemon drowsy, which could be useful in this situation. I don't know. Um, let's see, Stunky, you have things I could give you. Ooh. I guess the only thing I'd want to do is get rid of Acid Spray for Sludge Bomb. On Stunky, that's the only thing I'd want to do because I can poison shock, I can poison gas Veno shock, which is a viable strategy. It works in other games. I don't know how well it would work in this game, but it's worked in other games for me, so that could work. There's legitimate strategies I could do with uh, that idea. So, yeah, I wouldn't mind doing that. And I guess I can get rid of Quick Attack for Roost on you, just in case I need an uh, extra amount of heals. And that's everything. I also have some Mastery Seeds. That could be useful. I guess that could be one of... That could be another useful thing that we do. Go and uh, master a few moves, or... I do have some rare cat. I do have some experience candies and some rare candies as well, so those could be useful. I will buy fifty. I will buy fifteen super potions. So that might be useful as well. And I do have uh, things like nuggets and stardust, so I guess I might as well sell those now, or I have the opportunity to. All right. Take all of those. Take all of those. I have a nugget. 
I have two of those that I could use. Uh, is there anything else? I mean, I, I could use, I could get some Ux power. That might be useful. I'll move two of those just in case I need them. I've got uh, those which might be useful as well. Anything else here that might be useful? Uh, have a revive. Never know. That might be useful. Nothing else I can see that would be useful here. So, yeah, I'm pretty much ready for this fight. And now I can just go to the uh, uh, the cell uh, the person here and then sell all my uh, sell my items. So ZR and then sell you my nuggets because I don't need that. Because it's still it's still just money in this game. And the same with Stardust. I think that's still money in this game. It doesn't actually work out to you know anything particularly. You can't use... I don't think you can use these things for crafting. I don't know. You'd have to let me know in the comment section down below. Can you use these things for crafting if you need them? Like, can I use a nugget to craft something? Or can I use Stardust to craft something? I don't know. I always think of them as selling items. Because, again, I'm used to the, the old games. I'm used to just using them as selling items. I would like you to... But I have... I have mastery things. I have mastery seeds. Can I not use them? Okay, so I can... And of course, if you give me a seed of mastery, I can make your Pokemon master a move. But I... Okay. I have Seeds of Mastery. I have Seeds of Mastery. Can How can I not use them? I have Seeds of Mastery here. If you'd like... If you'd like them, I can... I have... I have some master seeds of mastery here that I could give you if you'd like them. I don't know. No. Alright, she, uh, she doesn't seem to want them. Or I don't have Pokemon that are capable of mastering moves right now. So, they're not useful to me for some reason. I don't know. I'm not... I'm not exactly used to this game. I don't play around. I don't play around on it a lot when I'm not uh, when I'm not recording. So I don't know all these things that you guys might know at home. Whether you guys know how to do all these things, I don't know. Either way, I'm gonna throw these back in the box because eventually I'll find a use for them. And I don't need those, and I don't need those right now. But other than that, I think I'm ready. I I guess I will use these then. Rare candy. Use on Stunky. Yeah, use one. And then use on Gold Bat. And then we'll give Stunky. And a level up. With experienced candies. Stunky learns a new move. Nice. I will give three of those to you and you'll learn you level up. And I'll give one to you. Alright, cool. Actually, what did Stunky learn? He learned Night Slash. Okay, that's not a bad actually. Yeah, get rid of tackle for that. It's a good move and it often crits, if I remember from the old games. I don't know if it does that here, but it's stab, it's powerful, it's better than tackle. Even if tackle's mastered, it's still better than tackle. Right. Uh, let's fly to the Boglands camp. But I can't actually, like, spawn in the... the actual camp I need to go to. 
helicopter. I can fly to a camp. I can fly to a camp. And then from there I can fly to the actual place I need to actually go. Right. Let's do this. Yep, I'm ready. Lady the Lingellant, uh a slight is a sight to see. Even her frenzy behold her. Uh, even in her frenzy, behold her and be graceful. Um yeah, I'll be graceful as I'm running for my life. You know, you, you saw the cleaver fight, you saw how bad that went. I hope we didn't uh, keep you waiting. Oh, you've somehow made it up here. Your leg's okay then, I guess. All it took was uh, one of my uh, vultures uh, to get... Um, uh, to get uh, Azor's leg to be all patched up. Cabana, ma'am. Uh, I am deeply sorry that uh, we had to uh, learn uh, t uh, lean on your help so much, uh, especially as we're of different clans. Azor, is tr tr Azor tried to solve the situation herself. I dare say that she ha bit off a bit more than she can chew and caused some trouble, but her heart was in the right place. Yeah, you gotta give her that, at least. Listen, the Lady of the Ridge, Lily Gallant, is like a dancer, always in motion, always uh, darting about the place. You want to watch her really close and learn to dodge her attacks. Yeah, I'm not very good at dodging. I'm much more better at letting them run into like things like trees and stuff like that so I can throw my Pokemon at them instead of trying to like dodge out the way of attacks. But we'll see how that goes. That's right. If you keep dodging, she might get tired and there might be a spot, uh, sh and that might be a spot of opening. That's when you can bring out your own Pokemon and uh, uh, prove your might. Don't let me down. Alright. Use the Azor flute and summon her then. Let's see if this battleground allows me to do what I was planning to do with Cleaver. It might not allow me to do that exactly though. That's the problem with this battleground. Oh, she is always in motion. Okay. Well, that might be an interesting way of dealing with this. Rady of the Ridge, Lily Gallant. Dodging Pokemon attacks. Press the Y button to dodge. You'll become invulnerable uh, to Pokemon and attacks for a brief moment. Dodge with just the right timing to pass through incoming attacks without taking damage. Okay. Ow. to dodge. She's not getting tired. Oh, an F in. Okay, I don't 
know how many attacks I can take. Ah! Okay, I can do something here. Okay, use Rock Smash, that hurts, but and my defenses are lowered, but I'm fine. Uh, strong, style, aerial ace, go! I mean, air slash, go! Oh, that does, that one shot! Critical situation here. game. Everything went black. Yes, I'd like to attempt the battle again. focus on her at the same time because like trying to focus the camera and trying to dodge at the same time is almost impossible although I guess if I focus on her that makes it easier yeah if I focus and dodge if I focus and dodge, that makes it easier. Do that. Yeah, focus and dodge. There you go. I figured it out. Oh, poison powder. That hurts. I'm okay. As I said, strong style moves will do damage. Strong style air slash go. Nice. I will definitely take a bath. You are invulnerable, but like, you've got to time it just right when you dodge. You can't just spam dodge because it doesn't always work. See what I mean? It doesn't always work. I can try a few. I'm trying a few things. Oh, got to the second round. Okay. Okay, I can work with this. Right. Strong style. Aerial ace. Go. This might do more damage. I mean, one shotting is always nice. sending out Leaf Blade attack or something like that. Focus on her. Oh, 
that always might that might be the way. Ah, so if I jump forward, I can dodge those attacks. Okay. So don't jump side to side when she's jumping. Uh, when she does these pillowette jumps like that. And when she does the leaf blade attack, I should go forward. I should jump forward instead of side to side. Everything went black again. I mean, can I continue? If you choose to continue, you can carry over some of the progress you made, depending on the Pokemon's frenzy get uh, it made on depleting the frenzy gauge. Would you like to continue? Uh, keep previous progress. Exactly how much of sum do I get back? Okay, that's decent, I guess. I guess there's like checkpoints. Really hard to dodge some of her moves. She moves so fast. You gotta time it just right. Maybe just as she's landing is the way to go, actually. Yeah, just as she's landing might be the way. Oh, she did great. She did four. Okay. Yeah, that's just as she's landing. Might be the path. When she's doing that. Okay, I'm learning. Don't stop there, Slash, go. She's getting really angry. Ow. Yeah. Everything's gonna go black. Wow. Okay, everything went black again. Like, I will continue the battle. Keep previous gauge, let's see how far we can go. Because we're doing well. Ish. somehow got focused on Pokemon instead of sending items. 
uh, you know, sending bombs. D-pad because I could show menus when you do that. That's where it was. Uh... Strong style aerial ace. Okay, cool. Life bars and stuff like that. Oh, if everything went black again because somehow I just got unfocused. Okay, I'm okay. I will continue the battle from where I am. I'm doing. I'm doing well. I'm going to beat her. Continue. Keep progress. I'm not resetting the gauge because that'll be I've made progress. five times in that fight, but I won, eventually. <laughs> that was cool. I enjoyed that fight. Got the meadow plate. So the meadow plate is a stone tablet that embodies the grass type. Hey, thank you. You didn't say, uh, you didn't just save Lily Gillens. You've saved Azor as well, and we appreciate that. First, Urs uh, Ursa Luna, and now Lily Gallant. You're amazing. You know that. Well. You know what would be more amazing, Azor? You know, you like, give me your phone number or something like that, and we can date and stuff. That'd be more amazing, you know? You know? So I don't, you know, I can eat potato machi with you and it'd be fine. You know? Kind of thing. You know, we're roughly around about the same age. I don't know how old she is compared to how old the player character is in these games. I know the player character's like 16. I know that. Being, uh, being all frenzy didn't suit Lily Kelman one bit. I'm so happy she's back for her graceful self. Azor, I still, you still owe someone an apology. Huh? Oh, don't worry about it. It's fine. A young one like her is bound to get caught up in some trouble from time to time. 
remember uh, what's uh, written on the Silesian ruins. All lives touch uh, of other lives to create something and new and alive. There's wisdom in those words. I imagine they're teaching us something about Almighty Sinam itself. Of course, I'd completely forgotten about them until a certain somebody helped me remember that. We owe you one, ma'am. Don't try to solve anything yourself, Azor. You're warden of all the people. We should uh, know uh, how to stand in solidarity with us others. It's our job to be side by side with Pokemon, after all. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. Well, I can hardly uh, start yelling at you after all. Carbana uh, whipped uh, uh, all... Uh, all that is so nice. Wrap that up so all so nicely. Just one more thing, Azor. I know you were trying to uh, uh, do what you thought was right, and I approve of that, of course. But from now on, do it without uh, getting uh, keeping things from me. Agreed. Other than that, there's no need to change a thing. Except maybe uh, put in some training. If anything else happens to Lily Gallant, I need you to be ready to protect uh, her uh, like a warden, like the warden you are. I understand. Let's work together from now on to keep the mere land safe, Azor. I'll be sure to inform Ilya that, uh, that uh, both the Diamond and Galaxy team helped save Ursa Luna. You did well, Joe. All, dif all our different groups finally joined hands to work together today. I admit it was a fun day for me, uh, but now it's about time I be on my way. Listen, you know me. Uh, I'm Admin, leader of the Diamond Clan. And I worship Almighty Sinnoh, ruler of time, the Alga. It's time... It, time is all about change. And uh, we can't live in fear of that. Uh, we can only try to help the time we, uh, we live and change it for the better. Those are good words, Zadman. Something tells me you folks will help me do that. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you for everything, Joe. I think I'll stay and talk to Lily Gallant for a while. What happened to you, Lily Gallant? How's a kind-hearted Pokemon get like you get whipped up into a frenzy like that? Though, it's uh, not like I'm perfect. I hide things I li and lied and... Uh, couldn't keep you safe. I'm really sorry about that. Lily! And on that note, we're going to end this episode here. If you've enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more. Join us next time. But until then... I'm Lantern Joe. Meet the Pokemon get the laser. Everybody get Pokemon. Good night. Thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy, then please consider leaving a like, comment, and subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter at Lantern Joe, where you'll get news, thoughts, and opinions from me and the rest of the Lantern Nation. You can also check out these two videos in the top right and top left hand corner. And don't forget to check out Power Zone Metal. It's a weekly radio show where you can listen to heavy metal music and so much more. You can find out more information about that at powerzonemetal.uk. But until next time, I am Lantern Joe, and I will see you next time.